Hey everybody, this is Cappy Smack coming to you from Vega Conflict. This is the end of the Sector Strike. And as you can see, I've got all the really good rewards. We're just down to the ones that may not be all that good, but I'm going to get them anyway. Don't really need any of this stuff. But I guess I want this one. I'll take that one. Not a lot to choose from. Uh, I still have 233,000. I guess I need resources. Or resources. I mainly need helium. And then I guess I could be forced to take uh, mineral. To be followed by antimatter. more helium. I think it's about it. Okie doke. So let's just uh, take a look-see around and see what we got coming up. I finally got around to copy, building my Fleet. flagship. Let's see, there's my flagship. So right now I've got a Mark II flagship. Haven't used it yet. I'm not sure what that says about me. Of course, I really haven't fit it yet. I'm not sure what that says about me either. Maybe it says I'm just not spending my time doing flagships. But I am spending my time building another Paladin, and we're about um, coming up on halfway through that. Another 11 days and some change to go. Reporting. And let's see, we have an alien strike coming up. Crafting materials. There is an interesting Xeno Pulse Cannon I might want. And of course, the ever present got to have Xeno disintegrator cannons. Both the alien variety and the uh, energy DPS variety. And then, of course, there's always the Talonite. And the resistors for Axis ships. I guess I need those. We'll have to see. I mean, I am doing a lot of Elite Dangerous. I finally figured out how to rank up with the Federation. And I have achieved the lofty rank of Ensign in the Federation. Of course, I do have my Python I'm trying to finish fitting. The armor costs 51 million creds. I have enough for that. But I also wanted to get a, a Federation gunship. Because I like uh, firepower and I wanted to play around with the uh, various fighters that are in the game. I do have a keelback. And, you know, I can uh, put fighters on it. But it's a little weak. So I wanted a stronger keelback. I think I might start using my Python in Elite Dangerous for more of a general purpose ship. 
We'll have to find out. I really haven't flown it yet. A three million dollar buyback or insurance. And I'm kind of liking taking a cheaper ship out on doing missions where I can earn 10 or 12 million an hour. So that's it for the Vega Conflict and update on uh, Elite Dangerous. I do have a uh, PS4 Pro and a 4K TV. Not a huge difference versus 1080p, I gotta tell you. Don't think I've played any games yet that take advantage of the PS4 Pro. And I will be buying an Xbox One X soon, just for comparison and my own uh, curiosity. So if any of you out there haven't bought the PS4 Pro yet, I would say uh, don't waste your money. It's not a big deal. It's slightly faster than a PS4. Most games are still going to be 1080p. And I haven't seen anything on my 4K Sony Bravia that comes anywhere near the $300 I spent on it. Of course, that was the good news. I found one at Amazon for 300 bucks. So it's not expensive. And Sony makes a good TV. And the Bravia is always a nice model. And this one appears to be more than adequate. So, you know, PS4 Pro, I'd say don't waste your money. Uh, 4K TV, they're cheap. I haven't seen any real difference between 1080p on a big screen TV and, and a 4K TV. It's not stunning. Um, so that's my report on PS4 Pro and 4K TV. In the meantime, I'm probably also going to buy a new rig so I can run my Steam games and hook it up to the 4K TV because it's just a really good monitor. So I might be doing that uh, soon. And I've got my eye on a uh, gaming machine based on Ryzen. It's uh, going to be under a thousand bucks. I don't think it's worth any more than that. And I uh, have been playing Elite Dangerous on my laptop with the Steam controller. I finally got it set up correctly, or at least passably. I still like playing Elite Dangerous on a PS4 or Xbox 360 for that matter with uh, either the uh, the DualShock on the PlayStation or uh, you know the Xbox controller because there are two joysticks works a lot better than the joystick and touchpad you have on the Steam controller but um, yeah, I'd say that on the, on the console it just works a lot better. I might be getting into uh, voice command, voice attack before uh, too long. And it, uh, it's interesting for the immersion aspect. I won't get to do it very often because I live with a gal who just hates video games. And if I start talking to myself when I'm playing a video game, she'd probably think I'm crazy. And I might be, but that's beside the point. She doesn't really get the entertainment thing, even though she entertains herself on daytime TV all the time. But, uh, all right, so that's it for the update. You know, keep watching the channel. Be sure to subscribe, like, and share. Uh, support me on Patreon. I can always use the help to support. I, I bought the uh, PS4 Pro and the Bravia with my own money because I was curious. And so that's it. In the meantime, I say.